Cells come in many different shapes and sizes, and the structure of a cell relates to its job or function. Red blood cells, for example, are disc-shaped, which allow them to easily travel through blood vessels and to carry oxygen. Nerve cells look like little tree branches that help send electrical impulses to and from the brain. Although different cells in your body all have different jobs, all cells have some structures in common. All cells are surrounded by a protective barrier called the cell membrane. The cell membrane is a flexible covering that protects the inside of a cell from the outside environment. The cell membrane surrounds the cytoplasm, the inside of a cell. You can think of the cytoplasm as like a soupy mixture of liquids, salts, molecules, and organelles. What's really important to know about the cell membrane is that it controls the movement of materials in and out of a cell. We say that the cell membrane is semi-permeable, meaning that it allows only certain materials to enter or leave a cell, like nutrients or waste. All cells have a cell membrane, but some cells, like plant and fungal cells, are also surrounded by a structure called the cell wall. The cell wall is a very rigid structure that protects the cell from viruses, bacteria, and other harmful organisms. It also maintains the cell's shape and provides additional structural support. Okay, so we covered what surrounds a cell. So how about what goes on inside a cell? Ah, the plot thickens. Much like the thick, soupy nature of the cytoplasm. 